Ugh. We've been playing together for a while now. I was wondering... Are we friends? Well... I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? I mean... I'm glad you said yes. I think she likes us. At least fucking somebody does. So. We just started the revolution. Kara and her company are on the run. And poor Connor here is questioning everything he's ever done. Now, where is our master? On a boat with a geisha umbrella. All right. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Ah, uh, not really. This is a sad little boat ride. Even Connor's not like Hello, looking like place. not quite sure what's going on here. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? Absolutely nothing. I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. Piss off, Amanda. You seem... lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. We're gonna not be sincere because she no. can kiss my ass. No, We're telling her nothing. Because she will reset Why my ass, deterred? and I don't want to be reset. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. That's a good viable excuse. <laughs> it's a fucking lie. I wasn't about ready to put down two people for if fucking self-defense. Doesn't make progress soon. I may have to replace you, Connor. I am of no importance. That's a lie. The mission is all that matters. I am lying through my teeth. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. No. Time is running out. I'm going to bring your whole world crashing down, sweetheart. That is just intimidating. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Ah, uh, yes, the Hi, broadcast Hank. room. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Oh, we even got the, the feds. Piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. 
I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. Got CSI, oh, FBI, got the whole alphabet soups here. Androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. even Homeland here. Homeland, NSA, the whole alphabet soups here, people. There's so much to look at. Have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. Because he's a little bitch. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. It's a debriefing. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? No one died, did they? Whatever. The FBI would take over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. The what biggest prick. chip on his shoulder. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. Thank you. Alright, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Uh, mismatched eyes. You got that much. Deviant has accomplices. Wow, you can pick that up from a fucking reflection. Registered as Marcus. Oh, we got your serial name, bitch! I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Connor seems very distracted all of a sudden. Get a camera angle that doesn't make me want to puke. Accomplices. They didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let them in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Human compliancy. Not compliance. Complacency. Just straight up complacency. Who the hell would be breaking into this place? Android. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Tch. 
All right, you mooks. What do you know? Wow. Creepy just staring at three carbon copies. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. That's not freaky. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. See, I'm getting nothing from these three. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. Oh, You're found going our to man. Destroy. Do you hear me? Destroy. yourself up maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you why yep. should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you Like, I know it's him. He, he's the only one who kind of started. Yeah, there we go. Ah, that's a power core. That's. That was, um, sir. Sir. I'm five seconds from shutting down. Come on. Some, oh, I have a minute. I've got some time. Amazing how much reserve power these guys have. Oh, okay, I can breathe again. It's a deviant. Stop it. He's got a gun. Dead. Good thing you were here, otherwise I'd... Connor. Connor, no. Hi. Well! Would you like
Life on the line to save your buddy. And Simon's still just chilling up there. Wow, there was a lot of shit I didn't do in the in, in there. Wow, I missed out on a lot. Wow. Okay. Now we're at the happy country home. Yes, let's just start rummaging around. Oh, look, a human being. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. You are a very large black woman. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Thank you. Oh. Do you think we can trust them? Mm. We don't have a choice. That's a lie. I was going to say, for the moment. Come in. What's your name? She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Lovely. They've got their house all decked out for Christmas, and it's barely, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. It's barely November. Oh, this is a nice little bed. Not quite sure how I feel about the wallpaper, but... sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow why do humans hate us we didn't do anything wrong humans are
complicated. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. One day. The far off future one. Human beings are you like, but no longer I such you shitheads. The world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. My ear itches. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Ha! The only person I'm really alienating in the entirety of this game is Tomorrow, Amanda, because I fucking hate Amanda. I'll stay with her a while. You do that. I'm going to go deal with Rose. Yeah, we're not going to snoop too much. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. You got your damn Christmas tree up, and it's like November 9th in the game. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but still only kind of uh, who helped them still kind of that way. Especially since this game really isn't all that much farther off in the future. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? See how their, her face just the fell when we mentioned that? And it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly! Who are you and where did you come from? What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. Is he crying? I loved her. I loved her more than anything. Didn't realize I had that physical capacity. What would I do without her?
let them be. You, child, are supposed to be Alice? in bed. What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. <laughs> no, you don't get to see the dead people. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? No, no, nothing is okay. Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! I don't need this. I don't want to be here for the family drama. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. But he's a fine boy. I'm sure he is. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Now is the time to scan the entirety of the house. World War Three. Great. Put that back down. Because what we're looking for is anything and everything that may give away that there are androids living here. Nope. Nope, come on. Like this. Those are cute. This Christmas tree. Nobody outside yet. Wow, I love how they still have, um, oh, there's the son, he's back. That's the dad. Hey, 
doesn't want to talk. He'd rather Sarah look at sports things. We don't want to cause any problems for you and your mother. We'll leave as soon as we can. Yeah. Oh. Hello, sir. The police. It's the police! What are we gonna do? And they know we're here. We have to open the door. Shut the fuck up. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. And shut this door. And then don't let the cops in the house. You too, yeah, might wanna. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? No. No, you're gonna stay out there in the Good cold, evening, officer. Good evening. He has no cause. He has no warrant. Shut you like a up. Cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. Lie through your teeth. Shit. Don't move. No, Luther. Why? What? You're gonna have to finish the journey without me. What? What? Loser! No! What the fuck? Why did I fuck up? Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Okay, that's not how that was supposed to go. Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. The dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Sometimes Simon violence is the answer. Life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! And now what are we going to do?
There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack gonna stores? Burn them to the ground! We've done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Viva la revolution. And I know I'm butchering that because my French is I've horrendous. I've been waiting a long time for this. I'm sure you have been, sweetheart. Officer. It's okay, they're gone. We're not doing anything illegal. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. That's the thing, it's late at night, and I think there's a curfew in effect. The store's so, over here. That might be why we're a little... Because we don't look... Without the little LED chip at the side of your head, you don't know an android from a human being. They're that well designed. So that's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Okay. Jeez, that is a lot. We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay, now You're what's next? Free. We just keep making rounds. Come on, we don't have time for this. This is not a security thing. Remember the invention of droids. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Yeah. Okay. Just... You're awake now. Go to Jericho. A surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Exactly what we need to write in the store. Okay. Um, how much time do I have? Nine minutes? I'm just stealing everyone's androids. You are free. What? What are we waiting for?
Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I wonder what you'd do without me. Cry. Alright, we're not going to take the truck quite yet. There's still some time. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. I still need to secure the area. You see the alarm system? Found it. Okay, that takes care of that. Jump. Not jump, that's all. Controlled fall. You are part of the calls now. Break the line. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Just create a feedback loop in the line, so it just no one knows we're here. Marcus, watch out! Really have to take care of that drone. Nice job, Marcus. Way too. Can I get from here? Nope. Nope. Of course, it's always got to be in the absolute last location, which is scaffolding. Perfect. How much time do I have? Seven and a half minutes?
Time to die, Mr. Police Drone. Now I just need to block the road. I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. Okay, then well, it's one-way traffic, so... this way. So how am I going to block traffic? Marcus! Marcus, come look! What? These two. Maybe get one of them to move the sign. Now. There. Bother us now. Awesome. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. Okay, let's go get the truck. Time to break in. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. That's a tight corner for a fat truck to be moving in. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Florent! We didn't hit anyone. Convert one, convert your friends. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Just start propagating the virus, please. Dream partner. Yeah, sex droid. North, you okay? 
Let's get them out of here. That is everyone. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An Freedom. object designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes, to take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with, with you, Marcus. We're with you. <laughs> I'll follow you, Marcus. With I'm, with you. I'm with you. We're with you, Marcus. Well then. Then follow me. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Be pacifist or violent. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Um, let's go with this. That's cool. Just start tagging everything, people. The screens, Marcus. That works. I'm gonna hijack it. We ask that you recognize our dignity. Our hopes and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and animals. This message is the hope of a better future for humans and animals. Moving a little statue. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and animals. We don't need masters anymore. We're free. Marcus. Oh. Violence is the only language humans understand. And I want them to understand that I do not want to start a war. They won't listen if they're not afraid. Then they won't have a choice. I'm not setting the ki this on fire. This is chilling. Uh, this is, I don't know if you guys understand just how powerful what they're doing here is. The music also really helps. Anything else we can tag? Wait, 
I can overload the taxis. Pacifism. Android Nation. Um, what can I do to the car? Move on, road. I'll help you. I don't know if there's anything else we can do. Yep, bus stop. Um, pack. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Alright. We have a dream. Time to pop a smoke bomb! Yeet! And we're gone. I don't really know what jacking up the cars really accomplished, but... We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. So do I. Violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. I mean, she has a point. Sometimes when someone just reaches out and stabs you with a knife, you gotta stab back. This way! Five! North! Shit, 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 shit. North. You all right? What happened? North. They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Killing them will only bring more wrath upon you. It's a lovely clock. You don't have to do this. No. Yeah, how's it feel to, you know, not be the one in power anymore, buddy? An eye for an eye, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. Interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in at exactly 2 a.m. Terror so attack, my ass. In Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows wow. were covered yeah. with We're stealing and androids. androids. And wow, we're such terrorists. Go fuck yourself. Graffiti 
was found in the neighborhoods of CyberLife stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the CyberLife stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against media? Android doing what media does best: fear mongering. The beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States. It's not a terrorist campaign. It's a sentient species wanting to uh, be granted the rights they are deserved. Freedom. And the right to choose for themselves. It's not a terrorist organization. Hi, Hank. Sorry I died. But I did it to save your ass. You old bastard. I took a bullet. I took multiple bullets for you, sir. I just wonder if, if it's a com tr tr true copy, you know, transfer download of the previous Connor's brain into the new body. It should still have all the original instabilities that I just put in him, so. Hi, just consider this me getting Still out of the hospital. Immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. <laughs> In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. <sighs> Camp Sack. What? I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? You should get your program checked. This Might is interesting. A glitch. Where the fuck are we? What do I not... I'm guessing this is something I missed out on because I died. And they can... Or because I decided to interrogate the androids, I didn't push for more? Oh, it's the girl from the screen. Hello, pretty. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. Oh. Is this the guy who created these? A little imaginary these? here, but please make yourself comfortable. That's an interesting life model. I'm thinking this is the guy who either developed the programming for him or designed the androids in nice general. Girl. You're right. Very pretty. She's really pretty. <laughs> I think nice Connor's place. got a crush. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Nope. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How does it feel? How does it feel to meet God? I don't know. I'll tell you when I see him. <laughs> I'll tell you when I meet God. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. That's some interesting painting. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Yeah, a lot of people would. Camps can't Amanda. Amanda. Yeah, yeah, so they work, must have worked together. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure it just said she died. As I was looking at what their occupations were, I wasn't paying attention to their birthday. Amanda? Did that just say Amanda's dead? Glad you will see you now. Oh, hello. Wow! Mr. Kamsky! He's got... Just a moment, please. Three copies of the same pretty blonde. I'm sure adult nighttime is great for him. Adult fun times with three of the same... It's like being with triplets. It's just weird. But 
some people's just went fantasy. Sir, can you please get out of the bathtub full of blood? Um, I should probably get out of the way. Alright, y'all Russian fuck. Tell us what we want to know. What are they talking about? I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. The music just got very suspenseful. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? No. We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. That's Is the true. desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either and the, the bourgeois helpful, or we will Z be doesn't exactly appreciate that. Those in power you, wish Connor? to stay in power. They will do everything in their Who power to retain that power. I have no side. I was designed to stop deviants, and that's what I intend to do. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't What know. I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? Uh, With a soul? Gun. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. <laughs> what? Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool? to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? She's an innocent. Decide who you are. She's. I'm not playing your egotistical, psychopathic game here, sir. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. I'm sorry, but we're not doing your bullshit today, sir. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm. I'm not a deviant. 
Oh, deny it all you want. We're you we're on that road. A machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. I'm not even gonna go you with like. Well, what if the gun was not loaded? I'm not pulling that bullshit. We're not dealing with that today. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. Greater, lesser, middling, evil is evil. If I'm forced By to choose, way, I'd rather choose not at all. I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. <laughs> An emergency exit. <laughs> Secret back door. Thank you for that lovely little Why detail. Didn't you shoot. I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry. Okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. <laughs> oh, at least Hank likes us. Oh, I'm not playing your bullshit games today, sir. Spare Chloe. Kamsky test. I kind of need to go back and play this game again, only do the opposite of all my choices and, well, kill people. Ninety-nine percent stress. Welcome to Detroit, Android City. That's likely to become true very soon. It's gonna be like what happened in 2020 when everyone just started fleeing all the major cities because, well, they were being burned to the ground. By peaceful protests. I love how no matter where you go, there's always a magazine that's completely up to date. Neighborhoods vandalized by psychotic machines. Population reaches 10 billion. Eastern Space Race. Russia and China androids face off. VR MMORPG reaches 1 billion users. Now, is it... Android sellers, perfect killing machines. Now, here's the thing about that VR MMO. Is it like SAO, where it's a full dive and... It's not just you're you have a gauntlet and you're, you know, watching it on your VR headset. But it's a fully immersive, you can feel, smell, touch, taste. It's literally intercepting the signals from your brain to your body. Android riots. Number of Detroit neighborhoods were brutally vandalized last night with Cyber Life stores broken into entire stocks of androids stolen. This wasn't everyday criminality. The perpetrators are thought to be androids. Police have yet to issue an official statement. Leaked CV CCTV footage from the surrounding area showed a number of androids emerging from manhole covers, destroying storefronts. Um, worst incident was in Capitol Park, where police attended the scene were confronted by androids behaving violently. No office, no choice but to open fire on malfunctioning machines. Believe they were suffering from some kind of behavioral bug. An eyewitness who claims I was personally attacked by the ringleader threatened me with a knife. I was so terrified. Of course, this allegation remains unconfirmed, but we have no reason to disbelieve a human witness as to the behavior of a deranged machine. Some are already concerned connecting this issue with the recent attack on the Stanford Tower, again executed by androids. So once again, they're just lying through their teeth to show, no, the androids are the problem, not us people. It's the androids that are wrong. So, yeah, no, it's fear-mongering, and they're 
twisting the facts to fit a narrative that makes it it's like, well, we'll just decommission all the androids. Start from scratch. <sighs> Those in power wish to stay in power. This is nice. I was wondering where you were. I just needed to be alone. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being Florida. alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They count on me. They count on me to show them the way. <sighs> if only they knew how lost I am. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. They fear what they don't understand. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I had a lovely old man take care of me. A guy who actually gave a shit and had a soul. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I can only assume you I were a sex slave. Been. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. I was nothing. Ooh, a doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. Yeah, sex doll. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. This is about as close as I think they get to kissing. <laughs> that was cool. I, I saw your memories. Ooh. Carl's house, when they left you for dead in the See, studio. See, androids ha can have even I saw your more too. deeply intimate relations Eating than them. humans because Death they can literally just man, hive mind I shit. There with you. You can have a much deeper understanding of your partner. And now she's running off because, like, she had, needs space to comprehend all of this bull. She needs space to think about everything. Typical woman. Where the fuck everybody go? Who are you and can I help you?
Are you mad at me? I feel like you're mad at me. <laughs> oh. So I guess that's one good thing of me not going up on the roof. Oh, what we gonna do here? This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. <laughs> We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. All of what you're doing is going down in history. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. He's willing to die for his convictions. What about you? They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. You're free. Come on, valet boy, we're running. Block the streets. Can I get back to the guy who's about to beat up on his droid? Yeah, yeah, keep honking, no one cares. Convert more androids. I don't even have to touch him now. I'm just wirelessly communicating the high virus. March. No, fuck you and your pram. Oh, I am God. Hi. You and you. Fine now. We got 160. <laughs> oh, 
How's this for some uh, terrifying motivation? What are you doing here? Hey, disperse! No, disperse kiss my ass, officer. That's an order. You want to start taking pop shots at me? You go right ahead, buddy. You only got nine rounds. Jesus fucking Christ! Yeah, that's what I thought. You ain't got the this balls. Control 457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. We are on We are Thousands of people. They're marching. We are Yeah, they're marching down the street. Fuck if I know. Hi, officers, you still don't have enough bullets. Okay, now you might ha start having enough bullets. Mmm, <laughs> the rat boys are here. We came here to demonstrate peacefully. And tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. <laughs> Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. Technically, but know that it's, we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. To do a peaceful pro our Most peace cities peace require that you file paperwork. Gathering. That's you to, you know, block streets in March. We will shoot. Marcus, However, that is not us. the appropriate response. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This nice. is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. They're gonna kill us all! I'm willing to die for my convictions, are you? Well, shit. But hey, public opinion keeps going up. That's what we need. Nice. Well. Continue.
talk to Amanda. Amanda can kiss my ass. That's... We're ending it here. Oh, this is getting good. It's getting suspenseful. We're reaching the climax. Connor is questioning everything he knows. Um, Marcus, I think. Marcus is doing very good. He's standing by his convictions. I'm standing by his convictions. He's making a statement without resorting to violence. I'm... Well, it's a lot of public dissonance. We're just disturbing the peace. I'd like to say I'm trying to emulate the tactics of Martin Luther King with how Marcus is doing this shit. You know, peaceful protesting. If they throw us in prison, they throw us in prison. They're, we're not going to violently fight back and ask for our rights. Or demand our rights. But I'm not exactly in the position to really make that um, comparison. Because I'm not black. I was on... Free rights for everyone. But... Skinny-ass white boy from the, you know, Midwest. Demographically, I'm on the side of the oppressor. So, not that I agree with any of what what was done. America's history sucks. Anyways, I'm not here to give you a freaking history or philosophy lesson. I'm here to have fun and play some really good video games. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you next time. Bye.